for news here. Valerian Balogun reportedly set to move from Arsenal to Monaco for a fee of around $43 million. The 22-year-old is expected to do his medicals in Monaco on Tuesday. Balogun scored 21 league on goals last season for Ramps. Herc, what do you think of the move? Could Balogun have perhaps done better? Okay, uh, what did you say the, the reported sell price was? $43 million. That is some serious cash for a player with one season under his belt in top flight football. He's 22 years of age, um, finally has a full season in top flight football, and he fully takes advantage of it. I believe it was like 22 goals in all competitions uh, in France, nothing to sneeze at, top five league. But for that type of money, for that type of cheddar, you want something that's proven. And not too many teams can pay that. You're talking about the Premier League team, some big teams. Uh, Inter Milan was of interest until that price tag wouldn't come down. Arsenal wouldn't budge. So there's only a few buyers that are realistically going to bid on you. And either they're in the Premier League or it's a team like Monaco in France mm. that knows you're a proven commodity in France. They've gotten to witness you up close in person, perform. They know what you're about. Now, Fowler and Balogun is a very good player. Fowler and Balogun could have a massive ceiling, but not too many are going to risk it. It's a safer play if you go with those who have money or those who have seen you up close. Now, Monaco is by no means a small team. Monaco, if you go back, it's got a rich history, especially um, with players that they've produced or players that they've showcased, if you will. Most recently, the Kylian Mbappes of the world, Bernardo Silva, Fabinho, uh, we can go on, Mendy, you know, Benjamin Mendy, we can go on and on with the players that they've showcased and sold to bigger and better. This is a massive club mm -hmm. in France. Rafa Marquez, yes, uh, as producer Beto said, but I'm trying to keep it like recently. They're known for being that club. So you could potentially get something bigger and better down the line. Mm -hmm. But as far as what he had right now, it may seem like a letdown because of the price tag, but I think the price tag is a major hurdle here. So I'm okay with the move. I don't think the letdown is the price tag, Herc. I think it's the league, right? We've kind of seen him dominate this league already. We've seen him get 20-plus goals. I think some of the other clubs we mentioned, like an Inter Milan, a Chelsea, for a guy who, as you rightly point out, really only has one year of kind of top flight experience. He played a season in the championship, but wasn't all that productive. I mean, this is, this is a pretty good move, but it's not, the, it's not the week in, week out competition that I would have loved. I see a guy like Raul Jimenez starting for a club like Fulham, and I would have thought Balogun could definitely make a move there and then get that Premier League experience week in, week out. Because you, you mentioned a lot of guys that Monaco has sold. You know what all those guys had? They had European football. Does Monaco have European football this year? No. Exactly. Uh, they don't. They, they don't. Get? Hold on. They don't. They were sixth in France. They were sixth last year. They were third before, the year before that, third before, year before that. Yep, you're right. So, I mean, he's not going to have that showcase, at least not this year. And by the way, Monaco has a guy who's scoring goals. Ben Yedder is 33, but I think he scored... 25 goals yeah. or something like that across all comps They're last year. They're also in year. first place right now, Monaco. So, listen, I understand what you're saying. It, I, the point is, if, if, if you're not going to go to an Inter Milan, you're not going to go to a Chelsea, go to a place where you absolutely know right away you're going to play. I don't know that we can say that here. It takes two, man. It, it takes two, Seb. Like, nobody at the end of the day would pull the trigger on that price tag. Mm. And that's a reality. I can't, believe, I can't believe Fulham. I can understand why Arsenal might not want to sell him in the Premier League, and maybe that's part of it. But I, ca I can't understand how a team like Fulham would not want to go after this guy when they're relying on Raul Jimenez as their starter in a Premier League season. Well, I don't know why the Raul Jimenez hate is coming about right now. I think it's no, unwarranted. I, mean, I don't know what Raul Jimenez has to do with Fulham and Balogun. But what I'm saying is you, you can admit that's, that's a lot of money for a player with one season under his belt. One proven season under his belt. No. Listen, he's 22, has a high ceiling. But that's all we've seen from him. We saw a brief glimpse in the championship, and it wasn't – like, he was tearing the championship apart. So I understand the hesitation because of the price tag. This is more on Arsenal that isn't on Fowler and Balogun. Th that's the reality here. It it's more on Arsenal that isn't on Fowler and Balogun. Why, you think they overvalued him? Of course. You, th you think they just put the, the price I tag I think too they high? I think they scare teams away with that evaluation. Mm. Mm. Fair enough. Arsenal. They made some good yep. money for themselves, though. Uh, $43 million, the reported fee for Fowler and Balogun. <sighs> 
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.